Hey friends, in these sessions we will see various errors in measurements. So the errors are classified in uh, two main categories that are systematic errors and random errors. Uh, systematic errors are name itself suggests systematic in nature that is uh, whether they will be in a positive direction or will be in a negative direction means we can forecast this error and they will be in a very uniform pattern so they are classified as instrumental errors errors due to imperfection in experimental techniques and procedures and personal errors so let us understand each of them in detail so first these are instrumental errors consider this scale and you can see that its readings markings are worn off so the measurement which are taken with this scale are, are obviously be random and uh, will create some error in measurement consider second example here we have a weight scale weight scale which shows some deflection though there is no weight on it and these deflection will be carry forwarded in each and every measurement we take with this weight scale so here is an example of positive direction error so there will always plus some grams in whatever accurate weight you measure with it will always carry some error here thermometer you can see has liquid separations and obviously this is one of the example of instrumental error this is an unfit instrument for measurements of temperature now second is errors due to imperfection in experimental techniques and procedure yes uh, reading should be taken with keeping certain criteria in mind and procedures in mind uh, for example if we place thermometer under armpit to measure the temperature of body then the readings we will get will definitely have some lower values compared to the original temperatures so this procedure is not that correct but are still adopted by some doctors while measuring straight rod if i use these uh, measure tape and if i don't stretch it properly then obviously the readings i will get or will not be an accurate readings so it is recommended that whatever instrument we use should be used properly and with a proper procedure Next is personal errors. Personal errors are majorly resulting due to parallax. Parallax in observations. Yes, by creating some angles with the correct view, you are gonna face some errors in your measurement. Whether and that depends on which uh, direction uh, with the correct view you are taking a readings from. And here are three examples of these parallax errors that are what your personal errors are. We can see from the figures. Next are random errors. Random error name itself suggests they occurs irregularly. There, are no, there is no fixed pattern. There is no fixed direction. They can be positive. They can be negative. Uh, depends on various conditions various experimental conditions that are obviously difficult to forecast because we cannot forecast it whether errors will occur or not whether whether they will be in positive direction or negative direction because they are not depending on one parameter there are many parameters on which these error depends like temperature pressure voltage supply if you are dealing with an electrical instrument vibrations if you are dealing with then uh, mechanical setups and there are n number of things that that can result in random errors and that's why they are called random and the bonus one is least count error yes least count is defined as the smallest value that can be measured by measuring instrument for example vernier scale has 0.01 cm of least count 
least count of micrometer screw gauge is 0.001 centimeter so while taking reading with screw gauge and there will be more accuracy than vernier calipers so these errors can be uh, minimized by using high precision instrument and also by taking arithmetic mean of series of observations i'll be uh, dealing with the last point in our upcoming videos hope you have got the point for any doubts you can comment below thank you